Hey everyone, welcome back to another new exciting video. Today in the morning, I was just scrolling over Twitter to get the status of GPT-5, means what is the progress. But I found something where, here you see, GPT-6 is in training. What is that man? Means we are talking about GPT-5 release, but OpenAI started training for the GPT-6. What is that? And do you know who is this person uh, who posted this news? He is actually a CTO and co-founder of Hyperbolic Labs, Eugene Jin. Do you know what is Hyperbolic Labs? Here you see, many of you have heard about this website also. They are the provider of various models. Here you see Kimi, K2, Dipsig, R1. Various models you will find from their platform. And they actually provides support for the GPU also. And uh, this person posted about this GPT-6 release. And here you see, hard GPT-5 is imminent imminent means is about to release from a little bird so from a little bird means uh, he got to know about this gpt5 release uh, from an anonymous source from a secret source okay and here you see it is not one model but multiple models so gpt5 is not one model only it has the combination of multiple models it has a router that switches between reasoning non-reasoning and tool using models and that's why Sam said they would fix model naming. Prompts will just auto route to the right model. So do you know what is the summary of this post? So actually this OpenAI is publishing GPT-5 model, but GPT-5 model is a combination of various models and uh, maybe the all of the models that we have seen uh, till now, this GPT-5 may be the combination of that models, but in a better way and uh, they will route to the specific model it may be the if you are uh, if you need the reasoning part then they will route your request to that reasoning model and if you need the tool calling then they will request uh, they will route your request to that tool calling uh, model okay and here you see i just hope they are not uh, delaying it for more safety test because we know that some days ago sam altman declared that they need more safety test before uh, releasing this model and here you see there are another model uh, that many persons are talking about. This is O3 Alpha. It's scary good. And this is the prompt Rubik's Cube app. And here you see that in a good way, this um, this app got uh, made by this Web LM Arena. So if you go to this Web LM Arena, uh, there you will find this model as the anonymous chatbot 0717. Okay, and you see that many of you have already seen uh, this Sam Altman post that good job, Sayo. Humanity was prevailed. I am completely exhausted. I figured that I had 10 hours of sleep in the last three days and I am barely alive. And if you completely read this post, here you see, I will post more about the contest where I get some rest. To be clear, those are provisional results, but uh, my lead should be big enough. And here you see that this person beated this open AI model. So it was actually a tough uh, coding contest where this human uh, this human beats this open AI model and he is scoring better than and many people also congratulated uh, this person the developer of open AI he posted that uh, we are releasing GPT-5 soon and we are excited for you to try it and then one person replied that GPT-5 soon but they are excited for us to try it and however end of September does not feel like soon so he's saying that uh, end of September GPT-5 will be released let's see that when it will get released and uh, I am very much excited for this OpenAI O3 Alpha model because here you see that number two in the world's hardest coding competition because uh, as I have shown you that in this world hardest competition this OpenAI model is at number two after this human okay and uh, also this based coding and physics model up to this date and it easily beats this O3 Pro and it creates Minecraft and GTA uh, games and Flappy Bird from one prompt and let's dive into the world demos and what is this means so you can go to this uh, link i have given in description and you can see the demo and here you see here we go first click of gpt5 gpt5 reasoning alpha found in a biology benchmarks inspect repository so this is one of the repository uh, where they have found this uh, open air gpt5 reasoning alpha model in that uh, comet and here you see it was coming 20 hours ago replacing the o3 model with the new gpt5 reasoning alpha entry here you see 
and if this repo is legit gpt5 is not far off now so we can expect that uh, around within uh, two months means from august to september we can get the test of gpt5 we could see gpt5 released before september one person is saying that before september also we can get that uh, open i pulled the o3 alpha model from public testing just 12 hours after it went live uh, maybe an indication that full launch is close okay so if you have seen that uh, many people actually tested this uh, o3 alpha model and they have shared their experience from that uh, web lm arena and uh, after that the open ai got that uh, good response and that's why they have pulled out this model from that uh, from that uh, public testing as you see in the past when open ai tested the secret models like optimus alpha and quasar alpha the official releases followed in 11 days for quasar and 4 days for optimus alpha as you see within these times uh, means 11 days and 4 days uh, they were actually pulled out okay so this was the release date and first appearance so maybe we can expect that o3 alpha will be released soon publicly for use and this is the o3 alpha and king fall come uh, this uh, comparison and uh, we know that o3 alpha is a model from openai but king fall is the model from the google and i also made a video on king fall previously so this is the google's model that they are actually taking the feedback from the people and they will release soon uh, this king paul in another name also okay so for that we have to wait i will see o3 alpha is openai's most capable coding model yet and pair with the uh, best from anthropic and google and the level of detail and functionality it adds to even very simple prompts is impressive so if you give any simple prompts then it is adding some detailing and functionality more and it is hard to believe that o3 alpha is just a new checkpoint for o3 and considering the jump in performance here you see this is the o3 alpha if i show you and uh, so this is one of the game basketball shooter and here you see this is the ui that is made by openai o3 alpha okay this is actually a good game you will get to know that uh, how you are uh, how you are and this is the uh, game that is made by king fall here you see this was made by o3 alpha and the same is made by king paul so there are two different ui but if you see that in case of o3 alpha the ui actually looks very good and uh, yeah, the position where you are um, and the position where you are putting down this ball is actually clearly visible but here in case of king paul it is not that much clearly visible so we can say that o3 alpha is actually a game changing model and uh, this is another quoted o3 alpha simple two to three word prompt can make it fully functional and feature rich and even over feature and more than you might expect it here you see uh, the left side is generated by this gemini 2.5 pro model and the right hand side is generated by this anonymous chatbot which i already told you that it is the open ai o3 alpha model and you see that there is a lots of difference between these two uh, ui so in case of this o3 alpha model you see that it is more structured and there are more functionality that you can add so new folder new file upload delete rename functionality but here you see that there is nothing that much in case of gemini 2.5 pro so this o3 alpha is actually a good model and uh, here you see that this is another example that you can see this is the o3 alpha okay and this is also made by o3 alpha and this is also made by o3 alpha some of the games and here you see that uh, stellar invaders so i hope many of you have played this type of game before also and this type of stellar invader game that you can make with this open ai o3 alpha model also this is actually looking very good production ready you can uh, share it with anyone okay it builds full stack apps nails ui clones flappy bird minecraft even gta 5 on the first try and it draws flawless is bg2 okay so o3 alpha is uh, being quietly tested on web arena and is crashing every coding model out there as i have already shown you it is beating this uh, gemini 2.5 pro model in terms of ui and in terms of functionality all of that things so these are the news that i wanted to share with you guys i hope you found this video helpful if you found helpful uh, please don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe this channel so stay with me and uh, i will share the news 
as soon as I get to know about this uh, GPT-5 release or any other model that will go into public. So you can like this video, subscribe this channel and see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching and don't forget to watch the other videos also.